All right, guys, time for the last one for this, uh, for, uh, what would they think for the, this, uh, for today, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm doing three villain ones, because I enjoy doing them, and I haven't done them in a while. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I haven't done, uh, if villains met, ran into one another. So for the third one for the day, for, uh, today, what, well, tonight, actually, as of this recording, yeah, as you can see from that title, yeah, what would Mr. Mixoplex from DC Comics think of Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls? Um, yeah, they're both, uh, interdim they're both, uh, they're pretty much both, uh, tricksters, they're both almost uh, nearly godlike beings, they can warp reality and stuff like that. I think it'd be interesting if these two ever met, because they both have that kind of, I'm better than you kind of personality, they're both ding, they're both tricksters that are, that could easily hurt people, and, like I said, they can warp reality just like that. So if Mr., let's say that, uh, Mixel, that, uh, Mixelplex, uh, just randomly encounters Bill Cipher. What would that be like? What would their first meeting be like? I think Mr. Uh, Mixelplex would just be like, oh, and here I thought I was, there was another fifth dimensional being here. No, nope, it's just some guy, it's just some triangle man, to which Bill would be like, well, at least, <laughs> at least I'm not, I don't, I don't sound like Gilbert Godfrey coming out of the body of an imp. And I think they would argue, but eventually I think that Bill and Mixelplex would just be like, hey, you know, um, we pick more, we pick fun on, you know, we pick on these mortals, but let's see if we can have a little fun with this. These two would definitely, like, they would mock each other at first, but I think Bill and Mixelplex would just be like, ha like having a ball with each other, because if you put those two godlike beings in the room together, those two would just be like, you know, laughing and, um, They'd just be laughing and making fun of everything and just, uh, you know, using their powers on poor, defenseless people and animals. Um, I think it would also be um, interesting to see how they would, you know, have a conversation between the two. They'd just be sitting there as like, oh, so Bill would be like, I think Bill would be very interested in Superman. So th he'd basically say, oh, so this Superman guy, you know, he has all this power, but you're more powerful than him. Why don't you just kill him if he gives you that much trouble? To which Mixelplex would be like, oh, well, I have fun with Superman. It's not like you where you get beaten by a couple of kids. <laughs> and Bill would be like, I'm... Shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, something like that. And you probably would think, well, would they be in the same universe? I'd say Mixelplex would like... Because both... Mixelplex can pop in between universes because they do to his fifth dimensional powers. Um, so I could easily see, like, Bill just pops into the, gra into the Gravity Falls universe just on random. Because sometimes he just likes to pop in between universes outside of, you know, his, his, uh, you know the DC universe. So he would just pop right in and just be like, hey, wh um, what's this universe? Oh, are, are you in fifth dimensional being? Nah, that you're no, no fifth dimensional being's that ugly. So that would be hilarious. Um, Bill would, I think, also be curious about learning... Uh, he Maybe he knows about other universes. He did mention something about that. So maybe he would know about other dimensions, and I think he would be curious uh, to learn more about Superman and the Justice League and all the other characters. I think he would be very curious to know about those heroes. And uh, Mixelplex would just be like, oh, yeah, I, you know, screw with them all the time, you know, but I could easily kill them like that, but where's the fun in that? And I think... Bill and him would just be like, hey, you know, it would be fun if, how about you get to, um, Bill or Mixoplex would just be like, hey, you know, how about we have a little fun here? How about we trade, uh, enemies? I'll take out the twin, you know, I'll take out those pet, you know, I'll screw with those little pesky twins, and you go, can go mess with Big Blue. Could you imagine that, um, Dipper and Mabel, um, fighting Mr. Mixoplex? Well, not so much fighting, trying to defeat Mr. Mixoplex, because the thing with Bill was that he was a dream demon. You know they could, you know they could fight him on the grounds that hey, it was the dr it, their dreams. You know dreams can give them power. Not in the real world. <laughs> they have to fight a godlike being that could easily uh, warp reality. He could easily just, with the snap of his fingers, just go boop. New, <laughs> you know you're stone now, or boop. You know you're made of paint. You know you're you're basically a paint can now. Um, and it would be interesting to see how Superman would encounter. You know. Uh, how would Superman fa fare against Bill? Uh, because it's a dream demon. He could easily get inside Superman's head and screw with him, you know, his love for Lois, you know, it, watching his planet blow up again and again. He could do all kinds of crazy shit to Superman. Um, I mean, Superman's been locked inside his own head before against multiple villains, but usually he usually gets, he usually 
can't fight his way out of it. He's not really... It, most of you guys know that he's not really good against magic. And Bill's a demon, so... Technically, yeah, he's a dream demon, and that means he has control over magic. And the times he has been trapped in his own little dream world, someone like um, Dr. Fate has come and saved him. So, yeah, Superman would definitely have to try to overcome... It would be very interesting to see so Superman trying to overcome that by himself. So that would be pretty interesting. Um... But yeah, just the these two, you know, Mixoplex and Bill Cipher. Those two would be dangerous against one another. And could you imagine if they got pissed off at one another and they picked a fight with each other? Uh, damn. <laughs> the, no universe is safe because I. Um, there was a com there's a comic out. Well, was out. There was a comic called World's Funnest, which was basically Mixoplex and Batmite, uh, more or less toppling around the, each universe, uh, multiple DC universes, like the DC Animated Universe, uh, Kingdom Come, Dark Knight Returns, and screwing with it. They had this huge fight that, that they chased them through multiple universes, and yeah, they screwed shit up. So could you imagine Mixoplex doing that with Cypher? That's a scary thought, isn't it? <laughs> that is a very scary thought um, to think about. But yeah, I could definitely see those two like try those two getting along because they have the same kind of obnoxious kind of personality. So I think those two would definitely carry on conversations and just kind of joke about the enemies they face. And yeah, <laughs> it would be interesting. That it would be a very interesting encounter indeed. So yeah, I really want to know, guys, um, what do you guys think would happen if Mixoplex encountered uh, Bill? You know, what would Bill cipher? And, Mixel, and Mr. Mixoplex think of one another. You think they would fight? What kind of conversations do you think they would have? And what do you think would happen if, also, what do you think would happen if Mr. Mixoplex uh, took on the, um, the Mystery Twins, Dipper and Mabel, and Bill Cipher took on Superman? What do you think that kind of encounter between if they decided to switch villains, you know, switch enemies? And could you imagine? Hell, I'm pretty sure, like, they could have, they could be probably going to meetings uh, with other interdimensional beings, like the Impossible Man. Actually, the Impossible Man and Mixoplex have met before uh, in, a, in the Superman Silver Surfer crossover. So they've met before. But could you imagine Mixoplex encounter and Bill encountering, like, uh, Q and him and... Uh, <laughs> Who else would Discord and all these other like interdimensional godlike beings just popping in between universe and be like, oh hey, what's up? Now that, that would be something. What now, wouldn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, what would it be? Uh, so once again, I ask you guys, what do you think it would be like if Mr. Mixoplex encountered Bill? Uh, what would Mr. Mixoplex think of Bill Cipher and vice versa? Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed not only this but the other two videos beforehand of what would they think? And yeah. Once again, uh, hope, you, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm out.